uh, which Psychopelic is, as a kinesiologist. Um, I was proud to work for an organization that allowed us to you know, work with residents to try and improve their functional abilities. Um, from there, I moved into a position as the health and safety consultant, and that gave me a chance to try and work with other villages to reduce injuries in the workplace and work with other joint health and safety committees. From there, I moved into a position of a director of recreation services, um, getting a chance to experience some of the vibrancy that we have in our villages. Um, I moved into a role from there and, and worked as a director of environmental services uh, to you know, experience a whole another set of, of operations within the villages. And moving into my current role as assistant general manager of long-term care, it's really been, um, you know, I've been proud to be able to be in a, a number of different roles and to positively impact our residents. Um, I always say that, you know, when you're, you're working in long-term care or retirement, uh, you know certain roles that you're connected with and you, <clears throat> you probably know about 50% of what that role entails. It's not really until you move into that role and you know, do it with the hands-on experience that you actually learn the other 50% of that role. And that's something that I've learned along the way and uh, you know, I've had a number of surprises um, on that level. One of Dan's greatest strengths is uh, he's got strate strategic thinking. Um, and for that to the village is very good. He always looks ahead, which is another one of his strengths, futuristic. Um, and always look at the outcome, how it's going to affect the village and so on. So with that being said, is being a, an AGM in long-term care, as we all know, is he has to look at the big picture. Um, so when it comes to team members and families, whatever decision he needs to make, he involves the team, involves the resident, always has residents uh, centered in the conversation, but also the impact is going to have in the long run. Um, he, he truly lives the life of the Schlegel family and what we do as a culture. Um, aging in place is truly what he believes in. Um, development and growth also. Um, he's very good at uh, finding different team members and leverage their growth. Um, and is not afraid to have a conversation with them, but also he will find and fight for his team to be able to give them an opportunity to grow within the village. Well, I would say my, my journey is not something that's been scripted or, or pre-planned. Um, I've, I've moved into a number of different roles uh, during my time here. And I think the biggest part uh, was to be flexible and, and open mind um, as these different roles uh, became available or the need became, you know, there was a void or a gap within the village that needed to be filled. What Dan has given me is he gave confidence. He gave me confidence because he respected what I did and vice versa. So we grew to really um, communicate um, and challenge each other which we still do. I mean, we always know that challenges sometimes is the best thing. And um, I, I think I'm a better person because of who he is. Uh, anytime that I've been able to, you know, see a resident smile, see a resident, you know, have a good time uh, because of whether it's to do with the recreational programs or whether it's to do with our uh, dining experience or something that's happening in the nursing, the nursing team, um, you know, seeing that positive impact on the residents uh, has been meaningful for me along the way and has given me a sense of life purpose.